What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back yet again bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield. In today's video, we're going to be using a Pokemon that helped me push my highest rank ever in Pokemon Sword and Shield. We're going to be rocking out with a Life Orb Mud Seal. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button. We're closing in on 15,000 subscribers, which is a huge milestone for me. So I just want to give a huge shout out to each and every one of my subscribers and everybody who is showing some support on the channel. But let's get started here. Let's get right after it with today's team preview. Starting off in that top left corner with our first out of the three horses on our team. We have Shadow Adder Catherix with the as one ability and the Lumberry as item. It's rocking Astro Barrage. It's got speed swap to pass its speed over to an ally Pokemon or even an opponent Pokemon. And then it's got protect and trick room for its final two moves. Second Pokemon is going to be Dialga with telepathy and the weakness policy works really, really well in uh, trick room. So he is rocking trick room as a move as well. He's got flash cannon, roar time, both for stab. And then last but not least, it's final coverage move is going to be earth power, which works so well in Dynamax. Gives you that special defense boost. And he's also a steel type Pokemon. With a steel type move, he can Dynamax and get a defense boost on that as well. So I really do like Dialga. I think he's a great Pokemon with in Trick Room and a great restricted mod all around. Middle left is going to be our second horse. We got Glacier over here. So we have Shadow Rider Calyrex. We could have brought in uh, Ice Rider Calyrex, but we used Dialga instead. But now we're rocking Glacier, Calyrex's other little friend. It's got Chilling Knight. It's got the Beery Berry so we can eat up a Steel Shot. And it's got Ice Oak Crash, high horsepower, close combat for a nice big coverage move. And then it's got Protect for its fourth and final move. Fourth Pokemon on the squad is going to be Mudsdale, and I absolutely love Mudsdale. I think Mudsdale is awesome all around. It is super, super bulky, and it's a great Pokemon because it is a physical attacker with inner focus. It's got high horsepower for stab. It's got rock slide for coverage. It has iron head for coverage. And then last but not least, it's got protect for its fourth final move. And I just feel like this Pokemon is really good in Dynamax because, again, ground and steel moves are just phenomenal. Dynamax and it has a rock move which is also really good in Dynamax because you can change up weather so we can get both type of defense boost and we can change up weather in this Dynamax form plus it's a great physical attack with that light orb so it can do a big amount of damage. Bottom left hand corner is everybody's favorite ghost type. We got Gengar rocking out on this team with Cursed Body and the Focus Sash as well. It's rocking Shadow Ball for stab. It's got Ally Switch protecting Ally Pokemon. It is rocking Trick Room so we got three Pokemon rocking Trick Room. Then we got Hypnosis put Pokemon to sleep but it's only a 60% accuracy move so we're going to be a little iffy with that. Hopefully, we land some hypnosis and put some Pokemon to sleep. Final Pokemon on squad is going to be our Rotom He, a great special attacker for his team and a great little support mod because it has two great support moves on it. It's got Levitate alongside with the Safety Goggles, and then it's got Thunderbolt, Eerie Impulse for special attack drops, Ally Switch to protect the Ally Pokemon, and last but not least, its heavy hitting stab move is going to be over. Guys, if you want to try this team for yourself, we got that rental code chilling at the bottom of the screen, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that rank double ladder. Look to get some wins with this Life Orb Mudsdale Trick Room team. First battle coming at you guys. And we're going up against a nice little meta team with one off meta Pokemon. So I'm loving it. We're going up against a Sigalith team with Rillaboom and Didi. So two Pokemon for Surge Control. And then it also has the Regilecki, Kyogre, and Shadow Rider Calyrex. So two great restricted mods. He has the Sigalith, which if I had to guess is probably for Tailwind. I know it rocks Gnosis, Tailwind, and like two other moves, which really don't matter. But that's really what it's there for. And then like, like I said, he's got the Rillaboom and Didi and Regilecki. So uh, how should we play this one? Do we try to just pop a Trick Room turn one? We go Gengar and try to pop a trick room with that focus dash, but a problem with that Gengar could be if he double leads like Kyogre and Calyrex, or even Regilecki, Kyogre or Regilecki and Calyrex. You can just do a handful of problems, bro. So, what should I do here? I could go Dialga. Dialga's not too bad. Or I can go into, say, a Pokemon like Calyrex. We do have the Lumberry with it. I don't really know what we should do here. What's your speed rocking? Let me see your speed. Let me see your lovely speed. Is it fully boosted? Speed's maxed out. Are you jolly? You're quiet nature. You're quiet nature. Hmm. 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 I kind of still want to lead to Calyrex. But Calyrex is just great all around. Can't be faked out by Rillaboom if he wants to rock Rillaboom. And then we can go into a Pokemon like. Hmm. Someone who could pop Trick Room. Dialga? So we lead both of our restricted mods here. Then we get Mudzell in the back end. And then last but not least, I'm going to bring Gengar in the back end because it has that Focus Ash. It just works so well. It just works so well. So we locked it in last second. Hopefully, I locked it in. And we can get rolling out with the squad. But you guys got to let me know for question of the day down in the comment section down below. What team did you guys get your highest rank with? For me personally, the reason I'm asking this question is because I use a Mudsdale team to get my highest rank I possibly ever had. So we're using Mudsdale today. You guys let me know what team you guys use to get your highest rank. I also use a Durant team, which I came pretty close with. But those are my top two teams. He's going to end up leading Regilecki alongside with uh, Ndidi. And at this point, um, I think I just dropped an Astro Barrage, right? An Astro Barrage. 
Just have follow me come out here, right? If you guys follow me, that's totally fine. I'm just gonna go Astro Barrage into, or I could speed swap with Ndidi. I could speed swap with Ndidi and then pop a trick on the counter roll from there. That could work well. That could work well. But I would love to drop an Astro Barrage. Just pose that threat onto that right slot. So yeah, we're gonna go trick him. We're gonna go Astro Barrage and just pose that threat onto that Regilaki. Because Regilaki might protect. It might not. You never know. You never know. But I was definitely thinking of just speed swapping into Ndidi and predicting the Regilaki protecting and Ndidi doing whatever it has to do. But if this Ndidi has a trick, we can pop it. But he's just going to straight up Dynamax Regilaki. Okay. I'm cool with it. I don't think he has enough mustard in the tank to take out my Diaga. And if he takes out my Calyrex, that's all. It's really not a problem. It is really not a problem because we don't have Sash. That's all our, our only problem. Our Sash is on our Gengar and I really like having a Sash on Calyrex. But it's all good. It's all good. Calyx has to take a shot so Diago can set up. That's totally fine by me. So you can go for a straight max darkness. Yeah, we're going to say bye bye to Calyx. Sorry, Calyx, you're wrong. But Calyx drops out here. What is Ndidi going for? Ndidi, what are you going for? Mystical Fire, maybe? Might be going for Mystical Fire. Special Offense is going to drop. Mystical Fire could do this. A little dirty. I ain't going to sit here and lie. And if he goes for Mystical Fire, then we're just going to rock in with the... Oh, no, he's going to Gleam. That's cool. Okay, so now we just rock in with Mudsdale. Lovely little Mudsdale. And do I Dynamax Mudsdale? Could definitely Dynamax Mudsdale. Dale full of muds. Or I can go into like Gengar. Nah, we're gonna go into muds though. Look at your speed. Let me see your speed. And inner focus as well. I love it. Three two. Get him in here. Get him in here. Let's go, Mudsdale. I'm gonna Dynamax Mudsdale. I'm gonna get the Dale Dynamax in. So I can obviously go for a Quake. He could hard swap into a Pokemon like Boom. Could kind of stink. But I think we still go into the Quake, right? I think we still go into a Quake. Or I can just like roar time that slot. What do I want to do here? I don't want that thing guard. He's definitely going to max guard, right? He's definitely going to max guard. I'm going to actually, no, he could follow me the shot. He could follow me the shot. So follow me, he might come out here. I'm just going to quake into him. And then I'm just going to go into a straight little flash guy into Ndidi. Let's do it. So he can guard. I think follow me is going to come out here. He's just going to soak up the shots and try to get off a electric move onto my Dialga. But I think we should be fine. I think we should be thriving. I think we should be thriving. Dialga is minus one on special defense, so maybe I should have swapped him. Maybe I should have swapped Dialga, but Mudsdale's going to get Dynamax. He's going to get ready. Get it, Mudsdale. Get after it, Mudsdale. I do think Follow Me is going to come out here. And if it doesn't, that's even better for us. No Follow Me. We, we, we like that. We don't mind that. We do not mind that. So Quake's going to fly through here. Say bye-bye to Regilecki. Yeah, he's gone. Oh my god, he did not follow me. What a mistake. What a mistake. What a huge mistake. I was going to say, yo, if he goes follow me... Then indeed he can take this max quake and then Reg like can get off a shot. But he didn't do it. He didn't do it. And we and we like that. <laughs> we like that. So Mudsdale's gonna take some life orb damage. He takes out the Reg Lucky. That's a huge turn for us. And we still have plenty of turns left in trick room. Flash hands can come out here. And oh we have big time damage. Gleam's gonna fly, and I wonder why he's going for Gleams. I don't know why. I guess he's I guess he's just trying to chip up as much damage as he possibly can. But it's a master tier battle, so I'm super, super surprised that, that follow me didn't come out here. But there we go. Nice little special defense boost. Hopefully he has special attackers in the back like Kyogre or Calyrex. And I think Kyogre might come out here now. That's going to be Cali. Cali Rex. Cali Rex. And we're just going to Quake into the slot. And I might just roar time that thing down. Might just roar time it. No berries allowed to eat. Good thing we both of us don't have berries. I am just going to Quake. Get that special defense boost again. I'm just going to Flash Cannon. I'm going to do the same turn as I did last turn. Same thing, same thing. Special defense boost is gonna work wonders. It's gonna be huge. Let's see how this one plays. Quake's gonna fly through here. If I had to guess, he's Sash, right? But still, special defense boost is gonna help us out so much. It's not Sash. Wow, no follow me's, no focus Sash on the Cavalax, dude. Mudsdale is ripping. He doesn't even have any attack boost. This is just straight up life for Mudsdale doing damage. Doing work. Granted, Cavalax and uh, Regilecki are terrible in the defense category. But still, he's ripping. He is ripping in the Dynamax. Flash Hand's gonna come out here. We're gonna say bye bye to Ndidi. And that's pretty much gonna be GG's. That's pretty much gonna be GG's. He has one more Pokemon left. And if I had to guess it, it's gotta be Kyogre, right? It's gotta be Kyogre. And we're plus two on special defense. I'm gonna just boost it again at that point. Yep, Kyogre's coming out here. Let's boost it again. Let's boost it again. Rain's coming out. Um, Dialga's can soak up water pretty well. But, uh, should be fine. I could change up weather, but I feel like special defense boost would be a bit better. Because we get off more damage, and we kind of can, can just go from there. So I'm going to roar time now because, you know, I think it's going to be our last turn. But our opponent's probably canceled battle, right? Yeah. Yeah. Opponent canceled battle, and my boy Mudsdale tears it up in battle number one. 
Let's get rolling here in battle number two. We are going up against a nice little sun team. I should say sun and rain team. He's got Kai Ogre. He's got Shadow Rider Kalex. Same restricted mods as the last opponent had. But now he has Venusaur and Torkoal as a sun combo. But then he has Ndidi and Snorlax. So Snorlax can work well in the trick room. Torkoal can work well in the trick room. Maybe we might want to go into a speed swap of Calyrex. Could definitely benefit us a lot. But yeah, I'm going to leave Calyrex here. We're going to roll out with that and then bring in a Pokemon who can set up a trick room. Which I'm thinking of Pokemon more so like Gengar at this point, right? Gengar, what's your speed at? 168, you're not bad. I like having Gengar. I like Gengar, I really do. But I'm gonna go there. I might go Dialga again and just bring Mudsail and Gengar. Is that the same squad as last time? It just looks like it works so well, right? I mean, we could try to pop the trick room with Calyrex turn one, but if he leads Calyrex, he can just dump on me, no problem. Which is a problem. Hmm. What do I wanna do? What do I wanna do here? What does Jeans wanna do here? Dialga? Do I go Dialga? I might go Dialga. I might go in with the Alga. This is tough. Tough news. Tough news. We'll go Dialga. We'll go Mudsail. We'll go Gengar. I'm liking this. I'm liking this. I think this is the same squad we brought last time. I'm not too sure because I forget if we brought Gengar or not. Because we didn't even touch him. I think we did bring Gengar, but we ended up just bringing in Mudsail, rolling out from there, getting after it. So, it'd be like that. It'd be like that for sure. For sure. But I think we're going to bring in the same squad, and we're going to get rolling out here and look to go back to back. But our opponent's got a tough team right here. A real tough team. I would love to pop a Trick Room and Speed Swap with like one of his solar Pokemon just to pretty much take him out of the battle. But we'll see. We'll see how this one plays out here. Who are you leading, kind sir? Kyogre? Calyrex. And this is a problem. This is this is this is a little bit of a problem. Just a little bit of a problem. Um, I could protect my own Calyrex. Um, or I can go into a shot. Or I can go into a shot on him. I could definitely protect my own Kyogre. Well, not my own Kyogre, my own Calyrex. So I'm thinking of doing just popping a Trick Room, you know? I don't have Focus Ash, and I feel like that this one might be slower than most. Because its nature is not boosted in speed. But I think that's that it's used for that, you know? He's gonna get that special defense boost. We are just gonna protect this Pokemon, I feel like. And I'm just gonna pop a straight up Trick Room with the Alga. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's pop this Trick Room. Let's pop this lovely Trick Room. Let's see what the Calyrex does. I'm protecting mine. I'm not playing games. I'm, I'm keeping mine alive. I'm keeping mine alive. He's probably going Astro Barrage. He's going to go follow me. That's totally fine. And he's going to go Astro Barrage here. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. He, oh, he just outplayed me. How dare you? He just outplayed me. Did you just outplay me? Or is he trying to pop a Trick Room? Because <laughs> I'm trying to pop a Trick Room. <laughs> he might actually be trying to pop a Trick Room. All right, I'll let him pop the Trick Room then. I'll go for an Astro Barrage. Do I do that? And just do this. And let him pop Trick Room. Can you pop Trick Room? I, I won't pop the Trick Room. <laughs> Can you pop Trick Room? He protects Calyrex. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Can you pop Trick Room, buddy? What are you doing? What, what's he doing here? What's Ndidi doing? Flash Cannon's going to come across. We're just getting off some chip damage. And Ndidi's going to go into a shot next turn. We can go into an Expanded Force. Ooh, a little scary. A little scary. I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. But we eat. But we eat. Can you pop a trick room now? Can this guy pop a trick room? I'm gonna pop a trick room. All right, I'm popping trick room. Don't worry. I'm, I'm gonna pop it. I'm popping it. Yo, he's gonna pop it this turn. I think he swaps Calyx. I really do. Unless he stays in, and just goes for like Astro Barrage is here. But I don't know. I swear, yo, if he trick rooms again, <laughs> this is gonna be upsetting. Helping hand coming out here. Oh, he's going for Astro Barrage. Can my Astro Barrage come out first? No. See, that's why our speed's poopy. Our speed's poopy. Can Dialga eat that up? Dialga, I love you. Okay, so we get off Trick Room. We get off Trick Room, which is like the most important thing. So I'm cool with that all day. Trick Room is coming out and about. He is Grimnade boosted. There's no bueno, but still Trick Room's gonna come out and about. Now, Trick Room's here. We came to party. We came to play. And at this point, we just go into Mudsail. And Mudsail should be able to take out... I'm gonna Dynamax him. Mudsail should be able to take out the... Uh, the Indeedee with one max quake will take the special defense boost and then we should get off some damage with uh with what's called with Diago on the Calyrex with a flash can or do we roar time I think we roar time because we're dead next turn let's do it let's send this roar time it's beautiful roar time so again follow me is definitely gonna come out here if I if I had to guess the max quake should be able to take out Indeedee boost our special defense which kind of neglects the uh the special attack boost from Calyrex I, I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. Then we can bring out Gengar. Gengar is slower than Calyrex, but it is 
faster than most which is a little tough but we do have the focus ash on top of that which works really really well so we will dynamax and i think special defense boost is going to be big because he has a lot of special attackers he has a venusaur he has the kyogre he has torkoal and those are three pokemon that i could definitely see him having in the back end even though we can only have two but i definitely think he has like a pokemon i don't know if he was trying to counteract trick room for me or if he was trying to set it up for pokemon like the Torkoal. let's see what he does you guys are following me and he's definitely going to pop a trick room here he's definitely gonna pop a trick room i feel like i feel like he's gonna pop a trick room just to cancel it out we are going to do this pop we're gonna say bye bye to you and more time's gonna slide over here so hopefully this thing's not sash because we can get off some big time damage get off some big time damage but i think that this Calyx is going to pop a trick room, right? I think Calyx is going to go for a trick room. Let's see. Roar time going to come out here. Like I said, I just want to get off as much damage as possible can before the other goes out here. And this thing is Sash. And he just goes for an Astro Bot. So, good thing we did roll in that. So, that's a solid turn for us. Dialga drops out. Trick room is still out and about. I know that my Gengar is slower than that Calyrex. So, I can just drop a move into that slot if I want to. And we still have Focus Sash. So, Gengar, come on out here, buddy. Come on out here. Let's get it done. Let's get some work done. Let's get some work done. He's going to throw his next Pokemon, which is going to be Snorlax. And Snorlax, I could definitely see Dynamax. And this kind of makes me want to go into a Steel Spike. This kind of makes me want to go into a Steel Spike just for a defense boost. So, you know what? If Calyrex protects, we're going to do this. And then I'm just going to go into a Hypnosis here. Or he can Dynamax go for Max Quake and I can ally switch the shot. That is a possibility. That is definitely a possibility. But, you know, I'm just going to try to put, put him to sleep here. Just in case he doesn't Dynamax. We're just going to go into that. We're just going to do that. And if he does Dynamax and we land to sleep, that's big time turns for us. But, yeah, we're just going to go into a Steel Spike into the Calyx. Because if Calyx protects, which I think it's going to do, we still take it out regardless. It just works really well. But he's going to end up Dynamaxing. Wow, dude, we definitely should have Alice. We definitely should have Alice, which could have been a big play for us. Could have been a big play for us. But I'll take a defense boost all day. I'll take a defense boost all day. I will take a defense boost all day. But we got to get rid of this Calyrex. I can't really afford to take an Astro Barrage here. We'll see what he wants to do. He's got to be going for Max Strike or something, right? And he's going to go straight for Max Darkness. So I could have Alice switched that. He's going to go into my Gengar. Gengar's going to sash up, which is beautiful. Steel Spike is going to come out here next turn. And hopefully we can land a Hypnosis. Hopefully we can land a Hypnosis because this could be a big time play. This could be a big time play. Special Defense is going to drop. Steel Spike is coming out here. We're going to say bye-bye to uh, Calyrex here. The Calyrex is gone. Our special defense is back to normal. You know, we boosted it last turn. But, but we got land to Hypnosis. This Hypnosis can be a huge land for us. It'll be a big time land for us. Big time play. Go ahead, Gengar. Do him dirty. Do him dirty, Gengar. Gengar, you got it. You got it. You're the man. You're the man, Gengar. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Big time hypnosis on that land. We put his Dynamax Pokemon to sleep. And he's definitely asleep for the next turn. Because, you know, there's no such thing as a one turn. So that works wonders for us. That works wonders for us. Uh, we could target down the next Pokemon. But I do think the next Pokemon might protect. Let's see what he gets into. It's going to be Torkoal. Torkoal's 100% protecting. Torkoal is 10,000% protecting. At this point, what should I do? What should I do? I could drop a rock. I could change up weather. Or I can get special defense boost. But if I change up weather, weather Gengar goes down here. And how many turns left in Trick Room? Two. Two turns left in Trick Room. I'm going to Quake. And from here, I could pop Trick Room and change it. Which I think I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do. Because my Pokemon are faster. I'm going to change Trick Room back. I'm going to change Trick Room back while this uh, Torkoal protects. No, he goes for an eruption. God dang it. Ouch, that hurts. That hurts. That hurts. Wow, he didn't, he didn't protect. Wow, this battle's going to be really close. It comes down to the sleeps. Snorlax going to be asleep. And if he's asleep next turn, that's huge for us. Because that wastes out his last turn to Dynamax. And then we get to go first. So Quake's going to fly. We'll take this special defense boost and we'll take out Torkoal. Oh my god, yo, this battle coming out to the wire. Coming down to the wire. It is coming down to the wire. We are plus one on defense, but it's really not going to do much. Life Orb's going to start sucking us away, dude. Look at that. Life Orb's just doing us dirty. One more turn, Life Orb might, might kill us. Oh! That's ugly. And plus Snorlax is defensive ball. That hurts soul. That hurts the soul. Well, I could have Max Guard. Actually, no. Max Guard wouldn't have done anything for us. But, yeah. We just got to go into a higher horsepower. And I think Life Orb just loses us off, right? Probably should have protected that turn. Nope. Snorlax picks up regardless. He goes for Max Strike. That's going to be GG. Solid second battle, though. All around great battle. 
Crypt Rooms were flying, came down to a 1v1 situation. If that Torkoal ended up protecting, we might have had a shot at winning this battle, but it is what it is. We are chilling here at 1-1 one one for today's video. Let's grab ourselves that winning record. We're going up against a really strong Yvelta and Zaskin team with Defiant Thunders, or, or it could be Prankster, but it's probably Defiant Thunders. And then he has uh, Regilecki, Umbreon, who is a defensive specialist, and then Incineroar, which is just a great Pokemon all around. But how should I lead this one? How should I play? I kind of got to pop another Trick Room, right? Trick Room just works so well. I could bring Rotom here because Rotom does work on a few different Pokemon. I kind of want to lead him. I don't want to leave the Rotom. Get, get a little bit of Rotom loving in here. Like, look at that moveset. I'll switch Eerie Impulse for special attackers. Over, he'd do some work. I might go him and Gengar just to pop the Trick Room. Him and the Guard to pop the Trick Room. Or I can go here and here to pop Trick Room. It seems pretty good. I do think that. But, again, if he leads your Velta, that's a little scary. So, I might just go with, like, Guard to pop Trick Room. Actually, let's go Diago to pop Trick Room. Bring Mudsdale and Guard in the back end. Actually, no. Let's go Guard to pop Trick Room. Yeah, 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 Guard, Pop, Trick Room. We'll go Diago, and we'll go Mudsdale. I'm digging it. Calyrex, you are not coming in here. Because once I pop Trick Room, you're just too fast. You're just too fast to be, to be fooling around Trick Room. Unless we Speed Swap, but it happens. It happens. We could actually just use, like, Speed Swap on, like, our Mudsdale and Dynamax. It could have been a pretty good option. It could have definitely been a pretty good option. But we'll see who he wants to lead. We'll see who he wants to go into. And we'll play off of that. We will play off that. Because I think Yvelta's going to get a lead, right? No, he leads to Reggie and Tornado's combo, which is rather strong. It's not too bad. I'm going to go in the Rotom here. And Rotom's not too bad here either. Um, hmm. What do I want to do here? I definitely want to pop the, the room full of tricks. I definitely want to pop the trick room. I could Alice switch here. But I think he's going to try to take out my Gengar, right? I think he is going to try to take out my Gengar. You go for a trick room here? I was switching Trick Room, or do we just go straight up? So my problem here is Gengar has a Sash, but I think he's going to E-Web. And then go straight into, like, a, uh... Straight into a, what's called... An Airstream. So I am going to Ally Switch this one, and I'm going to pop Trick Room. Because I think he is targeting down my Gengar slot. So he knows Gengar has Hypnos. So he knows Gengar has Trick Room. And there's Dynamax. So yeah, Dynamax, I think he's E-Web, and I think he's going to Airstream right into the Gengar slot. This Ally Switch could definitely benefit us a lot. This lovely little Alice. Switch. So if if my calculations are correct, if what I'm thinking is correct, this could be a really good turn for us because I think Rotom should be able to eat up an Airstream, and then Trick Room can get popped. So hopefully everything works out in our favor. I'm Alice, which I'm saying, hey yo Gengar, get over to this side. We need you popping this Trick Room. He's gonna go for the E Web, right? Correct. Yes. E Web out and about. There goes my Focus Ash. And come on, yo, right into the Rotom slot. Right into the Rotom slot with that Airstream. Right into the Rotom slot. Show it to me. Show it to me, yo. Gene's calculations gotta be correct here. It's gotta be correct. Airstream coming in hot. Right into the Rotom slot. Let's go, yo. Gene's calculations are beautiful. Are beautiful. Perfect ally switch for us. Rotom soaking it up. They're just taking speed, and we are just taking Trick Room. So, that's a solid turn for us. That's a solid turn for us. Now that my, my faster Pokemon who are out on the field are in, a, uh, are in Trick Room. That's really, really good for us. So, at this point, Shadow Ball? I'm just gonna Shadow Ball straight in you. Shadow Ball, and I'm just going to Thunderbolt. Maybe look for a Paralyze. Maybe look to get some damage off. I could overheat with Rotom, but I think Rotom's going to get another turn, so I'd rather Thunderbolt and then drop. That's not too bad. Not too bad, Jeans. Not too bad. We actually could have doubled down in the Regilecki, but I don't want Regilecki just protecting. That's a solid little turn here. That's a solid little turn. The Trick Room's definitely going to benefit us with a Pokemon like uh, Mudsdale and Dialga in the back end. I could choose Dynamax either. The Orb. Really depends who he has. It really depends on that. I actually could have hard swap my uh, Gengar here, which could have been a good play because I think he might go into a, like a, a, what is it even called? A Max Lightning. But Shadow Ball is going to fly here and that did some big time damage. Gengar hits like a truck. He's going to end up Max Knuckling. He's going to take this attack boost, which I'm totally fine with. Rotom eats and maybe or hopefully he just takes out Gengar here, right? I'm kind of hoping he just takes out Gengar. Yeah, just take out Gengar. Go for Thunderbolt into Gengar. He does. Beautiful. I'll take that all day. But at this point, I could just bring out Mudsdale and Dynamax him and get after his, uh, his stunners, right? What do I Dynamax to Dialga? I think I just Dynamax you, right? Get my Mudsdale cooking, dude. Get my Mudsdale cooking. Set up a little bit of weather. None of these Pokemon on my team can get hit by Buffets because A, Rotom has safety goggles, and B, my boy, uh, 
my boy uh what is his Dialga is steel type so i'll take that all day and i'm just gonna thunderbolt because thunderbolt should be able to take out rotom rotom's not bulky so we're gonna dynamax to dale the muds of the dale is coming out here with a dynamax i'm loving it dude i think we dynamax him all three battles he's just such a cool pokemon he's great in the trick room i'm loving him i'm loving him so he's up a ko on me we're about to get rid of his uh his Vegelaki unless he protects and we're about to do some big damage onto that uh thunders which has no boost it just has actually has one attack boost from that max knuckle so i forgot about it he's gonna end up protecting him that's totally cool i could have actually quaked in that and uh predicted that but it's all good we're gonna rock fall here we're gonna do some nice big old damage onto him dropping a full slab on him full slab of rock is that ko yo my boy mudsdale let's go mudsdale's hitting like an absolute truck with his coverage moves that's a big time play we still have i think two i think we have two more turns left in trick room which is totally fine with me as long as we can fully get off our dynamax turns it just works wonders it just works wonders Plus, in Trick Room, my Rotom is minus one on speed. It's just working great. It's just working lovely. So he's going to take a little bit of Buffets. I could obviously protect, but I don't know if Buffets can KO that. That's going to be leaving it close, so I don't want to take the risk. I don't want to take the risk. He's going to end up throwing out Zassian. We're going to go into this uh, Steel Boost. And you know what? I'm just going to go Overheat. And I'm going to take out the Regilecki and get a Defense Boost. That's going to be my play. That's going to be my play all day. So we'll take the fence boost, get rid of Vegelecki, and then I'm just going to go for the overheat. Might as well go for it. If he protects, he protects. It's totally fine. Which I think he has to protect, right? He's got to protect. He's going to end up withdrawing. So I think he's trying to bait the uh, ground move, and we're not even going into the ground move. Yeah, he's trying to bait the ground move. He was trying to bait the ground move. He's trying to bait the ground move. Good thing we don't have Catalogs in the back end. Steel Spikes can come out here. We're just going to get rid of you. We're going to boost your defense, and then I'm going to boost my special defense next. That's solid. That's solid. So we was trying to bait that ground move. Did not work one bit, buddy. Did not work one bit. But the problem here is that we're dropping an overheat. And now our special attack is down. But still, we can get off a Thunderbolt. And do a little bit of damage on the Evelta. Miss overheat? Nope, it connects. Are we coming out here? Chipping up. Not bad damage. Half in it. That's big time half. That's big time half. Big time half. So we dig that a lot. We dig that a lot. Um, I could go into the Quake here, which I'm kind of leaning towards. I'm kind of leaning towards just getting rid of this event. But nah, you know what? I'm going to Quake. If he protects, he protects. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. But a solid turn for us. Him trying to bait us, and we were not biting. We were not biting for it. But let me see how many turns left in Trick Room. I think we have one. We do have one. Zassian is probably going to go for the Protect here. We might even double Protect. And I'm still just going to Quake in this slot. I'm going to Quake, and I'm going to... I could Eerie Impulse. I think Eerie Impulse will help us out tremendously. Right? I might just... You know what? I'm going to defense bulk here. I'm going to go for a steel spike. Take the defense bulk. And then I'm going to just eerie impulse this thing down. I think that's our play. I think it's a better play all around. But I think Zassian does protect. He goes for sucker punch. Woohoo! Went for that sucker punch. So now we're not dealing with it. And wow, he didn't protect, but we'll take this defense boost all day. We're going to go plus two on defense. We're just going to eerie impulse down onto the Shibelt doll. Sucker Punch did not come out here, and we're thriving. You know, plus two on defense up against this Zacian, and we got minus two onto this, uh, onto this Yveltal, who could be physical. Who could be physical, but if that's the case, we are defense boosted, like I said. But still, special attack drop coming out here. He's going to end up going for a blade. This should be easy. Watch how much damage this actually does. He's going to do a lot of damage, even though we're plus two on defense. Just let's say it. Like, jeez, man. That is huge damage. That is huge damage for no reason. It's big damage for no reason. So, there goes our... There goes that. Uh, I'm trying to ally switch. I think Sucker Punch can come in here. This is exactly what I'm going to do. I could Rock Slide, but I got to get rid of this uh, Zacian. And I'm just going to ally switch it. So, I think Zacian goes into Mudzah. I think Sucker Punch can come out again from the Beltal. Because he is minus two on Special Defense. And Sucker Punch is a physical... Physical... Uh, or not Special Defense. Special Attack. And Sucker Punch is Physical Attack. So I think he's going to roll into another Sucker Punch, try to get after that. And we're just going to ally switch sides and get after that. This battle. Let's do it. Let's do it. Wow, I could have just quaked and dumped on him. But I really did think he was protecting. I really did think he was going to protect. So I'm going to ally switch this Rotom. I'm going to say, hey, yo, get over the side. He knows I have ally switch. And he's going to go for a blade. Go into that uh, Rotom slot. Right? There's no way you read that ally switch. No way you read it. Cool. So we're going to do that. He actually soaked that up, no problem. And what is Yveltal going for? A foul play. We should be able to eat. We do eat. That's beautiful. That's lovely. That is lovely. High horsepower comes out here. Should say bye-bye to Zassian, right? 
Yep, all day. See you later, Zacian. That's going to be GG's. That is going to be GG's because Zacian was really that only Pokemon that really posed that threat. We should be thriving here. We should be chilling. We have Rotom chilling here with Thunderbolt. And then we get our uh, Dialga out here full HP ready to roll. Ready to roll. Gotta love it, yo. The plays. The ally switch plays in battle number three. The ally switch plays in battle number three to give us that winning record. That was amazing, yo. Rotom, ally switching right off the rip. We predict the E web and the airstream going into the Rotom heat, popping a free trick room, and then we just ally switch to protect our Mudsdale to get rid of that Pokemon. And now I can legit just freely Thunderbolt and go into a roar time. Battle. Right? Cancel battle? Or he, he might stay in here. He goes to a foul play. That's fine. That's fine. You were not eating up this roar time. The Alga's strongest move. You're not eating it up on 5 HP. <laughs> <laughs> War time comes out here, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. A nice, lovely winning record. Yeah, it comes in clutch in the end, pulls off that roar time, and picks up the final KO. You gotta love a winning record, and more importantly, you gotta love a winning record with a Mudsail team. Mudsail is one of those Pokemon who I think is very, very strong, but does not get that much loving on the rank ladder. So being able to use them and grabbing ourselves a winning record means a lot. It means a lot because it's just a lot of fun using some off meta Pokemon up against meta teams and uh, showcasing the skill of other Pokemon other than heavy meta Pokemon. But we also had Gengar on this team who was tons of fun to use. Got to pop some Trick Room, got to get some damage off with Shadow Ball, got to put some Pokemon to sleep, and just got to do some work all around. So again, it was very cool to use some different Pokemon on the rank double ladder. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positivity today. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.